So we go to 149 pounds. Elizar DeLuca for the Scarlet Knights. The redshirt senior out of Talent, Oregon, eight and seven on the year, but ranked 12th in the nation. Going up against Miles Patton, sophomore out of Rochester, Minnesota, six and three on the season. So DeLuca should be a pretty heavy favorite, I would think, in this match here. And he already has a quick two points and leads it to nothing. And DeLuca is scrappy. He's a scrappy wrestler. He's not afraid to be physical. He's not afraid to push someone around. You know, he wants them to know I'm here and I'm ready, I'm ready to battle. Well, Patton gets a point on the escape, so he cuts the deficit to two to one. And Rutgers hoping DeLuca can deliver their first victory of the night and get them on the board. DeLuca needs to keep this energy up, keep this energy high. He came off quick ankle pick, quick takedown right on the whistle, and he needs to keep up this energy and this speed throughout the entire match. Because Rutgers is really Rutgers really needs to get some points on the board. Minute gone by in period one. And stalemate is called. 155 remaining in period one. And blood time called as DeLuca heads over to the Rutgers corner. Let's go! I want to hear it all! Well, Scarlet Knight fans trying to get fired up and get the Scarlet Knights going. Here's some of that action with DeLuca and Patton. And there he is, getting these New Jersey wrestling fans on their feet, getting a nice RU chant in the building. So, Rutgers is falling pretty far behind right now, so, so I think energy is something that they need to get up. So and I think the fans are starting to feel that when the energy is low, you know, it really takes a toll on the wrestlers. I remember talking to some of the wrestlers throughout the year, especially Anthony Ashnall, every time I talked to him, he says that the energy from the fans is so easy to feed off of. When you have the fans on their feet, when you can hear them, just hear them in your corner, it, it just it motivates you. It turns the energy completely around with you on the mat. So, like I said, the energy is a huge, it's a huge factor in these matches. Minute and a half remaining in period one. Two to one in favor of DeLuca. to a minute 15. And Patton staying right there with DeLuca. Now we keep mentioning momentum and that's something that Minnesota has right now. You know, up 14 nothing. They're just they're just looking to keep this rolling really. They just they want to pound on the Scarlet Knights. They want to keep their record undefeated against these Scarlet Knights. Having a win in the Big 10 is always is always a great thing. So, so they just want to keep this rolling here. Forty seconds left. Not a lot going on right now. As Deluca goes, tried to go low, but Patton fights him. Fights him off. And Patton has not given up. He's going in for those for those shots. He hasn't been able to complete a shot yet, but he's going for them. Luke is doing a good job blocking off those shots and keeping his hips back, but Patton's not giving up. He's pushing forward. He's being offensive. He's being aggressive. He's going to keep going for those shots. And period one comes to an end with DeLuca on top by the score of two to one. Scarlet Knights trailing 14 to nothing on the overall score. And like I said, DeLuca came out fast, got that takedown first few seconds, but it seems like the speed of the match has definitely slowed down. Definitely hasn't keeping that pace up the entire match, and you know there hasn't been that much movement. So DeLuca right now is looking to get the escape and get another point on the board. A lot of excitement there, but no points. And 
there's a point for DeLuca on the escape. So he goes up three to one. Again, not much movement going on in the match right now. Both wrestlers are just trying to get their arms right, trying to get some control, looking for that open spot. They're looking for that opening to take the shot, but they're, they're at a pretty even matchup right now. Nobody's really able to get the edge off to get a shot in. Down to 47 seconds, stalemate. Like we said, Luca's doing. Like I said, Luca's doing a great job, you know, blocking off the shots. But Patton's not giving up. He he's looking for a shot. He's looking for that opening. Because all it takes right now is one takedown to tie up this match. And there's two. That was a nice dump by Patton. He was able to dump him, get right behind him, put two points on the board, and now we have an even score. And now we have riding time riding up in favor of Patton. Three three the score. Final 10 seconds of period two. And it appears we're gonna go to the third period, even at three apiece. Riding time was moved up to 26 seconds in favor of Patton. So DeLuca needs to get out and get a point here or else the riding time is gonna just ride up. And if it hits a minute, like we said, Lou, this can be one of those matches where riding time can be the factor. Luca starts the third period on top. And that's a point, an escape for Patton. He takes the lead. And that was a quick escape. DeLuca was definitely looking to ride him out a little bit more than that, but it was a quick escape. Now they're back in that neutral position and both guys are gonna keep looking for that open spot, try to get another shot in. It's four to three, a minute and a half remaining in the third period. Minnesota trying to keep the shutout intact. Big move there by DeLuca. And that is a throw that we have seen before from DeLuca. Now what he does there, he's able to, he's able to lock up both arms and it looks like he's going to fake a trip. He's gonna fake the inside trip, but then he's gonna throw him around, across the opposite side of his body for that quick throw. And you know, it's something that DeLuca is comfortable with. It's something that he goes to. He knows when he needs to come up with something big, that's the throw he's going to. So Laser DeLuca back in the lead. He's up five to four. And the crowd appreciates the effort. Here it is. Like I said, Lou, he does a great job setting up that throw. He knows exactly what he's doing, hooking those arms. He fakes the trip and he, th he makes the throw. And, and it's been working for him. It's been his move. It's been the move that's put him on the map so far this year because we know he had the two huge throws at the end of the match against Ohio State, against Hayes of Ohio State. And that really, that's the match that put him on the maps and that really got people talking about DeLuca. And now it's something that we see consistently from him. He's not afraid to make those, make those big throws, especially when he's behind in the match. He knows that, all right, it's time. I gotta come up on top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. 55 seconds left in period three. It's a one point differential, DeLuca up five to four. Trying to put Rutgers on the board for the first time this evening. Now Rutger, riding time is not gonna be a factor in this match. Well, if DeLuca does ride him out for the rest of this period, he, he can get up to a minute on riding time. So if DeLuca can ride him out for the rest of this period, then he's gonna come out on top of this match. But Patton needs to get up. If he gets the escape here, he's gonna tie up the match and keep it at five. Crowd's getting into it. 20 seconds left. Still 5 4 the score. And now all it takes is for DeLuca to have that one foot inbound, and the ref is going to keep them inbound. All it takes is a foot, an ankle, a toe to stay in the circle. And if it's in the circle, the ref is going to keep them inbound. He's not going to blow the whistle. 
DeLuca eight seconds away from putting Rutgers on the board. In two seconds, he's going to get riding time in his favor. That's going to get another point on the board for him. And the crowd rises to its feet as Elazer DeLuca defeats Miles Patton, six to four. DeLuca giving a nice wave to these Rutgers fans, to these New Jersey wrestling fans, because he knows that this is the last time he's going to be on the Scarlet, as the, on the mat as a Scarlet Knight, and he wanted to make sure that it was a match he was going to remember. So he came out with the win, exactly what he was looking for, exactly what these fans were looking for, and he did a great job on that one. Scott Goodale made a gesture to DeLuca as he came off the mat, pounding on his heart, like, you showed me heart there, kid and DeLuca certainly did. He wins it. 